Millions of pounds is being invested in London's transport network to make it easier for disabled travellers to get around. A number of Tube and London overground stations will become wheelchair accessible over the next decade and nearly all bus stops will be step free by 2017. Campaigners have welcomed the plans but say more needs to be done. Gareth Furby reports. Suleiman Khan has muscular dystrophy and says the Tube is the cheapest way to get around. The problem is sometimes staff aren't there to help him get off and recently this delayed a train for 15 minutes. It's quite degrading and quite embarrassing, you know, to have to wait and to, to you know, with all the upset passengers. Today, Transport for London announced a further investment to help improve this service. 70 million of additional funding that's going to go into this whole range of measures. Um, and that is money that's come from additional efficiencies that we found in the budget. During the Olympics, boarding ramps were introduced. And now these will stay and spread across London. They are quick and easy to use. The staff are very keen to use them and help our customers. And so we're going to roll them out over the next few years additional 16 immediately and we've already started the piece of work to assess where we're going to deploy these ramps over the next year. On the roads, more than 8,000 buses now have ramps, but only around three quarters of stops are suitable. The aim now is to get near total coverage by rebuilding curbs. There'll also be better information about services which are suitable for the disabled, something which caught out Tanvi Vias when her tube was suddenly diverted and she missed her disabled friendly stop. And so I ended up having to go all the way to Morden and back again. However, they were going to sort of stop the train halfway through and in the end there was no way of me communicating with anybody so I had to pull the emergency alarm. If it was up to me, I would have every station made accessible. But that would cost billions. And TfL says today's investment is in addition to 250 million to be spent making another 28 tube stations accessible in the next 10 years. Gareth Furby, BBC London News.